We've got some big Steelers Week 4 injury news for you guys as Laramie Tunsil, Houston Texans left tackle, has now been deemed out for this Week 4 matchup. And with Josh Jones, their backup left tackle, also out with an injury this week. That means Austin Deculus, that's right, you probably have never even heard of this guy's name before, is going to be probably starting at left tackle for the Houston Texans with Alex Highsmith lined up on, uh, lined up against him every single snap this Sunday. So it's going to be very, very difficult, in my opinion, for the Houston Texans to survive without Laramie Tunsil on the field. This is massive Pittsburgh Steelers news. And if you want to get Steelers news updates throughout the 2023 season, join the fastest growing Steelers channel on YouTube right now here at Steelers Talk. Going to be getting in, uh, into uh, the Steelers and Houston Texans injury reports in full here in just a sec. But man, I'm on my day off. I'm recording this from my apartment here in Dallas, Texas. My bosses told me, you don't have to record a video today. Enjoy your day off. But listen, man, Steelers fans deserve the absolute best coverage uh, on YouTube because they're the best fans out of anybody in the National Football League. You're not going to get this level of dedication anywhere else on Steelers YouTube. So if you want to join, once again, the fastest growing Steelers channel here on YouTube, click that subscribe button for me right now. Now let's get into the injury news and let's start with the Houston Texans. I already talked about Laramie Tunsil missing. Josh Jones, their backup left tackle is going to be missing as well. And because of that, I think Alex Highsmith is going to absolutely eat this week. Uh, really did a great job in week two versus the Cleveland Browns. Had two really big plays with that pick six against the Sean Watson to kick things off. And then also really had that big play in the fourth quarter, forcing that fumble onto Sean Watson where TJ Watt takes it in for six. I expect a similar type of impact for Alex this week versus the Texans. I think he's going to be getting after C.J. Stroud all day long. And speaking of the Steelers pass rush, I think T.J. Watt, although he's going up against the better offensive tackle here for Houston and George Fant, who's their right tackle, he's their highest graded offensive lineman, he hasn't faced anybody like T.J. Watt to this point, man. T.J. is a different kind of beast. He already has six sacks. He was the AFC Defensive Player of the Month. You're not, I mean, with respect to George Fant, you are not stopping TJ Watt this week. And now that you got Alex Highsmith going up against one of the worst offensive tackles on any roster in the National Football League this week, I wouldn't be surprised if the Steelers racked up six, seven, eight sacks this week against the Houston Texans, especially against a young quarterback like CJ Stroud, who, who has struggled in the past when he's pressured all these different different things. He's looked pretty good through the first couple of weeks of the season, but he hasn't faced a pass rush like the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's face it, man. Patrick Peterson has been looking really, really good as well. Levi Wallace was the team's MVP versus the Raiders last week. It seems like this defense is really starting to get into a groove. And without a legitimate left tackle pl a player for the Houston Texans this week, Good luck is all I got to say to C.J. Stroud in this Houston Texans offense. Some more Houston Texans injury updates. They're missing a lot of players. Derek Stingley Jr., one of their one, uh, their former number three overall draft pick cornerback out of LSU. He's been on IR. We knew all week he wasn't going to play. And then also now Denzel Perriman, their number one linebacker. And then Tavier Thompson, another one of their starting corners, is going to be out this week in week four. And then their starting center as well and Michael Dieter. Uh, he's going to be questionable to go with a chest injury. So it really seems like the injury report is really starting to stack up for the Houston Texans, which of course is a good thing for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It seems like a really big matchup here, especially on that offensive line pass rush situation that we got going on this week. So really no excuses for the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. You got all these really key players for the Houston Texans out of the lineup this week. You have to take advantage of that plain and simply. Now let's shift over to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers deep uh, injury report for this week. James Daniels uh, suffered a groin injury last week versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Hasn't played all that well. Was really good last year. Hasn't really uh, played well in, here in 2023 to start the year. He's going to be out with that groin issue. Nate Herbig is going to be the starting uh, right guard here for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's going to be the first shakeup that we've seen on this offensive line so far this year. Dan Moore Jr. is expected to continue playing at left tackle as the starter. Broderick Jones still waiting for his opportunity, the first-round rookie out of Georgia. 
Uh, you know, I think if Dan Moore continues to play poorly, he's the lowest graded offensive tackle in the National Football League to this point in the season. I think eventually they got to put Broderick Jones in and see what they have in this rookie. But I'm very excited to see what Nate Herbig's going to be able to do. Very big, very bruising, somebody that can impose his will on opposing defensive linemen. The Steelers have been missing kind of that presence on the inside to be able to move the line of scrimmage this year. Hopefully Nate Herbig is somebody that's going to be able to help that out a little bit. And one of the more interesting stories here for the Pittsburgh Steelers going into week four is that Presley Harvin III has been dealing with a hamstring injury all week, will not play this week versus the Houston Texans. And of course, they bring in Brad Wing, former Steelers punter, uh, on the practice squad this week, he has now been elevated to the active roster. We will see Brad Wing, who hasn't played in a National Football League regular season game in six years. 2017 was the last time that Wing was uh, a punter for an NFL team. So definitely a little bit concerned there, uh, especially because he hasn't been uh, really playing in this league for six years. So I'm going to be interested to see how this spe how that affects the Steelers' special teams this week. Hopefully that doesn't negatively affect uh, the, the, the field position game this week. It could be a nice advantage for the Texans. But overall, I'm not too worried about it. I think this defense is going to absolutely eat this week. I don't think the Texans' offense is really going to be able to do much. And I think Kenny Pickett, you know, Matt Canada, uh, the run game this week will look better, especially with guys like Denzel Perriman, Derek Stingley, and Tavier. Thompson out for the Texans. I think that Kenny will continue to build off his solid performance last week. Uh, and I think overall, it's going to be a good game for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Really, you know, my biggest takeaway coming out of this injury report today is that the Steelers absolutely need to win this football game, man. You're two and one. You're feeling pretty darn good. But if you can, but if you go into Houston here and you lose to this team with a bunch of injuries, with a clear mismatch on the offensive line pass rush matchup there, it's and you lose that football game, fans are going to come out of this game in complete panic mode, especially if Kenny Pickett. Uh, has a performance like he had in week one or week two where he was where he was having missing players by yards, you know, throwing tons of interception worthy throws, all these different things that we saw from him in the first two weeks that weren't so good. Hopefully we see more of what we saw from him in week three. Kenny uh, looked a lot more comfortable. Matt Canada got him on the run more, which really plays more to his strengths. I want to see a lot more under center from this offense. Still a lot of shotgun last week. Kenny was far from perfect versus the Raiders last uh, weekend, but uh, you know, I, it, the, the direction is moving upwards. The arrow is pointing upwards here, and I really hope that against a really uh, struggling Houston Texans team here in terms of the injury department, you got to take advantage of the matchup. You got to take advantage of the mismatches, and hopefully Matt Canada, Mike Tomlin, Kenny Pickett, TJ Watt, all these different players that are going to be very, very important to get this victory this week can put together a solid performance and get this team to 3-1, and one, a good start to this 2023 three season. That's going to be it for me today, guys. Really do appreciate all of your support. If you want to join me and Coop for our week four watch party live here on the channel, I'll be in studio tomorrow. Make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. We are going live at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow for an hour of pregame, followed by a live play-by-play -play where I give you my reactions to everything that goes on tomorrow, and then also post-game coverage. we got a bunch of different awesome Super Chat stuff going on tomorrow, a bunch of raffles, Super Chat MVP stuff, so it's going to be a ton of fun. Don't miss it. If you want a place to kick it with your fellow Yenzers throughout the 2023 campaign, make sure you click that subscribe button right now. I will see you guys tomorrow, and until then, here we go, Steelers.